Okay, so I hope you're following along at home and everything's been clear so far. In this video, we're going to follow on from the last video. And in the last video, we looked at how to output standard um, out and standard errors into two separate files. Um, in this video, I'm going to look at how we'd monitor some of these files, and uh, especially when they get quite large, how we're going to monitor these files and keep an eye on them. So if I go to uh, VS Code, and I'll just look at the bottom here. I'm going to use the sequence command to make a contrived example. So the sequence command is going to print a sequence of numbers between um, you know, two, uh, two inputs. So in this case here, I'm putting in 1 and I'm putting in 10. So the sequence command is going to put out 1 to 10. Um, it doesn't have to start at 10. You could start 5 to 10. And again, this could be up to 100. And in this case, actually, I'm going to start off at uh, 1. And I'm going to go 1 to 100. Um, and I'm going to make it into a for loop, like so. So 4i in. I'm just going to wrap around this with a command wrapper. Do. And then I'm going to echo out the i iterator. So I'll echo that out. I'll put it into a file called, let's call the file sleepy.txt, and then we'll put a sleep in between each iteration of one second, and then just mark that as done. So this is now going to uh, echo out i as it goes from 1 to 100 into this file called sleepy, and it's going to sleep for a second in between. Let's jump to the, uh, the terminal. So how would we monitor this output? So this is our now... Uh, our large running script, and it's lots and lots of output. How would we monitor the end of this? So um, one of the things we can do is we can use the tail command. So this is the tail command, and we've got to put the actual file on the end of the tail command. So this is now just monitoring the end of the file. The problem with this is, yes, it's output in the end of the file, and yes, we can see a status, but we do have to do a lot of scrolling. We have to scroll back up and down to see the output, okay? Um, what I propose you actually do, so let's just press Control L and go back to the start here. Um, let's go back to the VS Code, and we'll, we'll end this uh, example on VS Code over here. I'm just going to start this uh, again. And what we're going to do this time, if we go back to the uh, terminal, I'm actually going to use the less command. So I'm going to do less like this with the plus. And I'm going to put an F there as well. And I'm going to put our file. So our file is going to be called sleepy. I'll just put that there ready because we're going to come and catch it. I'll go back over to the terminal and I'll uh, run this. Now, now that's running, if I just click uh, like so, you can see now it's doing the exact same thing as what tail was doing, but there's a significant difference here. So rather than just letting our output uh, drift off into the terminal and having to scroll back up, we're now afforded the benefit of actually being able to search, be able to take our output and put it into an editor, uh, go back up and down the file, um, search forward in the file, and those kind of things. And it gives us more um, control of our output. So I'll give you some examples of that now. So we're just going to wait for this um, less command to run because obviously we need the buffer to be filled with output. So obviously we still got to get from uh, 1 to 100. Uh, but when this is now finished, um, I'm going to show you a way now of going back up and down this file and how to search this file, search forward, search backwards, and those kind of things. Um, but like right now we're letting our imaginary script run. We're still getting to see the output of our script, but the difference is now rather than it go to a terminal, it's now going into a buffer inside less. So let's have a look at that on the uh, the terminal. So you can see here now um, our command's finished. If we just press mind the thing. Right. So sorry about that, I wasn't clicked on the thing. Um so now our our command's finished, okay. Now we've got the ability to go back up by pressing U. We can also search forward by pressing the forward slash. We can do forward slash 80, for example. And we can also, if we wanted to, take this to a visual editor by pressing the V option. So this is the power 
of using the less command over the tail command. And as we make scripts that do like things like brute forcing and those kind of things, I uh, will be looking at using the less command in future videos. So I just wanted to show you that really just before we move forward. But, but I hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, if you're not enjoying these videos or if I'm going way too fast, just tell me, I'll slow down. I'm quite conscious of you know trying to get lots of information out. Um, but if you are enjoying, just hit the subscribe button uh, give me a like, give me a compliment, give me give me a negative. Like if you if you don't like these, let me know why you don't like these. Um, but yeah, see you in the next video. Hope you like it.